Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesday with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? So, how are you doing? Today, as I was about to come on, uh, I was thinking about a client of mine, a very good dear friend of mine, and I thought of myself, well, what is the best message I can give them today? Is it's May, we just had Mother's Day go by, and for those of you who spent Mother's Day with your mother, I hope it was a blessed and a wonderful time. And for those who don't have their mom with them, who are away from mom, or mom is no longer in their life, uh, may God give you more strength and know that you are always watched over and loved. So today's message is uh, literally, uh, I was going through some cards in here. It is cards about once in a lifetime what is it that we do once in a lifetime so i had a client of mine who referred her sister to me and she came in saying that i've always wanted to be hypnotized but i've never tried hypnosis and now it's come to a point that i need it and i was referred to you because i think uh this is the only way i can overcome the issue that I have. So, once in a lifetime, what is it that you have uh, been skeptical of, never done, wanted to do, and it's been on your bucket list, but have never done it, never take the chance or step forward to say, you know what, uh, it's been on my bucket list, I'm going to give myself this time, either this week, this month, or this year, and I'm going to do that. Here's the thing, because until the time we don't set that intention, we're not going to do it. It's like setting a goal and then putting it aside or doing a business plan and then putting it aside uh, into the archives, in the files, and never following suit with that business plan. Of course, years go by and you realize you haven't done anything about that business, your dreams, your aspirations, because it's not in your fourth front. It's not right there in your face. You're not looking at it. You're not saying, this is what I want. This is what I want to create. So in a way, the things we also want in our life Either it could be change of habit, it could be a uh, change of behavior, or it could be uh, something that is on your bucket list that you want, wanted to do. If it's not there and you're not looking at it, you're not dreaming about it, you're not saying yes to it, it's going to be in the archives, right? So today I've got a stack of cards and let's pick one uh right there <laughs> it says buy a lotto ticket well how many of us how many of you don't even buy a lotto ticket and say god it's not gonna work i never win uh of course with an attitude that says yeah it's not gonna work for me i never win it's not gonna work so let's see what it says. I know you rise above such morally weak, uh, weak activities as gambling, but never indulge in a gift to yourself. So when you don't win, you can go back to the peace, high ground of never playing the lottery. But if you do win, weren't you the lucky one? So I walk around and it's, I've been doing this for the longest time. As far as I remember, it's been years. I walk around with an intention, especially when I had my dog and we used to walk around the neighborhood. My intention was every time I go for a walk, I will find coin. I will find money. And it's, 
I, I got to tell you, there it never failed. Even if I found a penny, I would pick it up and say, thank you. It's as if my intention was set on finding money. And it didn't matter if it was a penny or a hundred dollars, which I haven't found a hundred dollars, but I did find a $20 bill that someone had dropped uh, late at night and it was in front of a restaurant. It was 1130 at night. There was hardly anyone around. And this $20 was dropped at the corner right at the curb. So whoever wanted to sit in the car must have dropped it. So thank you. Thank you to the universe, but thank you for the intention that we set. So today's session is when we focus on what is it that we want in life is what we bring to us, not the things we don't want, because in a way, don't it, it negates everything that it is positive, everything that it's loving, everything that it is we want to attract in our life. It's as of saying, don't think of a blue elephant. Hmm. Did you think about a blue elephant? Did you think about a blue elephant in a circus? I don't want you to think about a blue elephant. So will you please stop? Ah, I said the magic word. Stop thinking of a blue elephant. And now you may have stopped. So the magic word is don't. I don't want this. I don't want to do this. In a way, don't negates our subconscious. Our subconscious mind does not understand or compute the word don't. So when we want to do anything in our life, let's say uh, when my client comes in and they say, I don't want to feel this way anymore. I want, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to smoke anymore. I don't want to eat this much. I say, what is it that you want? Let's create that. Let's move forward towards your most dominant thought pattern, which is what we want to attract in our life. So if we want a better relationship and more loving relationship, I say, stop attracting red zone or red tape people, people who are toxic, people who are negating everything that you are, people who do not, uh, who are not enhancing your life. If you want to drop weight, I call it drop weight instead of losing because losing also is a negative connotation. Loss is not a good feeling. So if you want to drop weight, shed, late, uh, shed the weight or peel away those emotional weights, let's see what is the weight that you desire to be. What is the size you want to fit in? If you have clothes in your closet that are size six, and now you're approximately eight, eight or 10, what do we do to become size six? Become size six, because we don't wanna go back. We don't wanna go back to anything in our life, not to a relationship, not to a behavior, not to a habit, nothing. We don't wanna go backwards towards anything. Got it? Huh. So we move forward. We move ahead. We step forward in everything that we want to create in our life. Today, make a choice. What is it that I want to create or change my habit? As you know, habits are formed when you do something over and over, over and over, especially when we do something for a long time and it feels good. And if that feeling is good, then somehow our subconscious mind believes that doing this and feeling good is inconsistent with one another. And we continue doing that and, and it becomes a part of our behavior. As it becomes a part of our behavior, then we think, hmm, I've been doing this for a quite a long time. Now it's embedded and we do it over and over without thinking 
it becomes a part of our automatic way of being and doing. In order for us to change any habit, any behavior, a lot of people say it's been known, do something for 21 days or it's been said 28 days. I came up with a philosophy of because we as human beings do some things, everything, we function in numbers, we function in timelines. If you were to do something, let's say for a minute, a second, uh, an hour, we function, give me a minute, I'll be right there. Give me a moment, I'll call you. I'll call you in an hour, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, a day, a month, a year, right? So those are timelines. When we do something for 21 days, and in one month we have 30 days, 29 days, or there are months that we have tw uh, 31 days, like this month. Now, if you were to do something over and over for 31 days, I mean, 21 days, right? Then we have one week, one week of not doing that same thing. What I like to call it is the subconscious mind functioning in months and everything is going to feel as if just dropped. You did it for 21 days. What about the other eight days? We just dropped it. So in a way, we come short in that month and the subconscious mind goes haywire. No, 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 no. What do I do? I've got one week. I'm not done. What do I do with this one week? So if you were to start another 21 days and another 21 days, that's a better cycle. But we in order for that function to be complete, and I mean complete, we have to do something that is the number of completion. And the number of completion is nine. So 33 days, and I'm saying 33 days, and I'll give you the reason why, is because when you complete something for either 30 days or 33 days, that means you have completed the month, and we're already into the next month. Let's say the month is over on 30 days. And if you do something for 33 days, because we move towards our most dominant thought pattern on the positive instead of going back or negative, we feel like, hey, I did it. I accomplished it. And this month, there's only 26 days or 27 days. So if I can be a success for 33 days, I can definitely succeed for 27 days. Two and seven, nine. Uh, three times three, nine. The number of completion is nine. If you have a habit that you want to change, if you have a behavior you want to change and shift it for the better, and to heal within, do this every single day, either if it's an affirmation, we start with an affirmation and you say, whatever it is that you wanna do, you do something the opposite. If you want to stop smoking, you stop for one hour and then one day and then one week, right? And then one month but you must stop it for 33 consecutive days in order for the mind and the body and the subconscious and conscious mind compute that this is becoming the new format. It's science. It is, that's why we say muscle has memory, the body is like a machine. Well, our subconscious mind is like that in a way. So that's why Tony Robbins, Jim Brown, everyone is telling us even how we move and boost immune system is because there is a whole science of how we tap within our body and shift patterns as, uh, 
as it was said, that we can even shift a DNA. We can heal. Uh, our master hypnotist, right? Uh, Dr. John Butler did self-hypnosis in London, not in America, but throughout the entire, entire hernia surgery, he was under hypnosis, not under, in hypnosis while talking to the surgeons and the technicians and the nurses, but having a hernia surgery with absolutely no anesthesia. That's right. You heard this correct. No anesthesia. Why? Because the mind is so powerful. It's like science. It's like a time, like a better than Rolex. So in order for us to shift anything, the reward, which is the benefit of what we want, has to be far greater. If you have something on your bucket list and you've been wanting it, desiring it, have a passion for it, go for it. Set it as something that you want because when your juices start flowing, when your desire and passion becomes far greater, happier, joyous, and you're looking forward to it, it becomes a reality. That's why visualization plus science mental aptitude plus working and seeing and knowing and doing something over and over makes everything become a reality for you so how do we do it in hypnosis and hypnotherapy we guide you from your conscious state of awake state into that state of relaxation by listening and visualizing so that you can easily and gently tap within and shift and rotate, edit behaviors, thoughts, ideas, concepts, and patterns. What we do is after 33 days, you see the result and another 33 days and three months down the line now you have a brand new habit a healthier habit a better habit a habit that you've been wanting so if and when hello how are you all thank you for being here if and when you choose to shift a habit and you are ready for it, by all means, give me a call. This is Lisa Bubari, your expert hypnotherapist. I don't treat an issue. I treat my clients as a whole. So what is the difference between me and someone else? Exactly that. Because when you come in to shift or want to have a, change a habit, I look at your entire life. It's how we grew up. It's how, what is our environment, where we grew up, how, how, how was our environment, our home, our school, our friends, everything about us makes us. There is no experience in your life. There is no behavior or attitude that you have that has been bad it's just an experience if we peel away the nouns and adjectives that is just a reality it's just an experience the good the bad the right and wrong but what is it that we want to accomplish what is it that we want to feel what is it that we want to do from now on is what i help you with On June 1st, I have an event coming up. It's called the 3E event. It is an all day, well, not an all day, but it's a half day. It's from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's an all women event. Uh, it's a day dedicated to women to feel empowered, to feel um, 
they are with like-minded women. It is women who come in there so that they can just let go of everything about family, expectations, and it's a day because we're gonna have soulful exercises that tap within and you get to experience certain feelings, you get to experience tapping within yourself, feeling good. It's an experience that you get to truly get connected to your authentic self and realize that you can, you can let go of the outside world and for a few hours just reward yourself. It's besides doing the massages and the hairs and all the things that we do to beautify ourselves. But what about beautifying our within? So the three E is truly evoking what was, embracing what is the reality, and evolving to what it is that we want together with like-minded women through sound healing, uh, listening to other speakers, and being empowered by certain information. Now, I will also be doing guided visualization and hypnosis. But it's for women who feel overwhelmed and want to take some time off for themselves. And it's going to be amus amazing because we're going to have drum circle, sound healing, fire dance. We're going to have a wonderful buffet. But it is you coming in there and receiving. Receiving just pure essence of connecting with it. Plus, vendors, laughter joy, dance, music. It is a party for your spirit, for your mind, for yourself. Now, why did I create this 3E event? Because for so many of us, for so many women who have their children, their husband, uh, families, their caretakers at all times, and are cherished by their loved ones or for those who want to be cherished and have a day off for themselves to come and realize their own value, their own merit, and get information to become healthier, to get information of uh, certain aspects of uh, how to treat yourself internally. We're going to have incredible speakers and entertainment, but each and every one will be touching you in your heart, in your body, and spiritually. So it's a day of magnificence because you are going to be present. So if you're interested, please, I'm going to give you a link to sign up and for today there's going to be a special so sign up the 3 eeventcom and for the gentlemen who are watching this i know mother's day has passed and memorial day is coming what better way to create more memories and give this time time for the women in your life as a gift for them to go enjoy and come back to you with a spirit lifted, re-energized, rejuvenated, and saying thank you to you. When I thought about this day, it said, um, go climb a mountain. And go climb a mountain always reminds me of Julie Andrews. And, uh, the beautiful movie, right? That after years of uh, taking care of their children, the children of this incredible family, and learning, teaching, ethics, 
teaching how uh, they are loved and for them not to feel the lack of mom because she came as a governess. Huh? And then she got to marry and be uh, their mom. We all want to feel cherished, accepted, and wanted. And the 3E event is a day dedicated for women to feel exactly that. We all take care of someone. And on this day, we want to take care of you. So, I look forward to seeing you all. If you want to change a habit or pattern, do it. 33 consecutive days and let me know how that happened and how it helped you. Until I see you next week, I bid you goodbye. God bless and may the universal light be with you. This is Lisa Bubari, Heal Talk Tuesdays.